In this video I'm going to share with you the techniques that I use to assemble, paint and weather the base for my flight deck diorama. Stay tuned! Hello fellas! I'm starting with Edwards 148 scale aircraft carrier deck. But instead of doing the whole thing I'm going to cut one third of it and this way I'm going to get more shell friendly diorama. For the cutting I'm using a Alpha scribing blade. To get the base higher I'm going to put it on a 5 cm styrofoam block. The hot wire cutter is an awesome tool and I was able to buy mine for 40 euros from an online pawn shop. Good score I think. I am also going to add some notches in the styrofoam so I can fit the lip of the plastic board. To attach the plastic board to the styrofoam I am using PVA glue from the hardware store. To ensure the straight fit and good adhesion I put some weights on the diorama base and let it dry overnight. The styrofoam does not look very beautiful so I am going to cover it with 1mm balsa wood planks. The balsa is very easy to cut with scalpel blade especially along the grain. I chose to attach the balsa wood with spray adhesive because the moisture from the PVA glue can deform it. On the other hand this spray adhesive that I have is total garbage and I had to fix some areas with super glue. So if you want to use spray adhesive make sure it's a good one. Cleaning the surface with isopropyl alcohol is super important and the amount of dirt collected on the paper is your proof. To start the painting process I will apply a layer of grey surfacer. I am laying it down in a model fashion which may or may not help in the future. Most of the tools and materials I use you can find linked in the description. For the base color I have chosen dark yellow for Mr. Hobby. Probably I should have gone with warmer tone but in this case it's not that important. Plus I will take care of it a bit later. Just like with the primer I am building up some irregularity in the paint. Now for the real fun. Picking out individual planks with desert sand acrylic paint using a brush. And I will try to do that as random as possible. I am not too concerned about the paint getting onto the neighboring planks. But I am trying not to do so. Of course one color is not enough so I added a bit of brown to the desert sand and I will repeat the process. Maybe one more color? Why not? Let's add some black to the previous mixture and do it all over again.
To blend everything together and warm the tone of the base layer, I am adding some red and flat varnish in the mixture. I will be applying this in very light and transparent layers. A couple of layers of lacquer varnish for protection. I will need that protection later. Just a tiny bit of masking to do. This 40mm Tamiya tape is not the best in the world, but it's great for this kind of job. Because it will not damage the paint and it's not expensive. For the metal hardware on the deck I chose dark aluminium from AK's Extreme Metal range. I will apply a couple of more layers of Tamiya Semi Gloss Lacquer Varnish. It does fairly good job in retaining most of the metallic properties of the metalizer paint. And now let's cover everything done so far with a coat of navy blue. Here I will be doing the modeling thing as well. This picture will be my reference for the markings on my deck section. Using 3mm tape I will get even spacing from the edge of the elevator rim. Then using regular masking tape I will mask the over sprayer area. Some time ago I was searching for cheap yet good masking tape. I failed in my quest but I ended up with some cheap and not so good tape laying around. And I am using it in such tasks where simple shapes have to be masked off. After a couple of white layers this section will be done. Next I will do the diagonals on the elevator.
here using the regular masking tape bite me back and I got some paint seeping underneath. Now let's do the weathering and the majority of it will be done using 800 grit sandpaper to remove some of the navy blue and reveal the wood and metal underneath it. This way I think I will get closest to the paint abrasion in the real world. Here the most important thing is not to burn through the protective clear coat. Another thing worth mentioning is that the sandpaper gets clogged very often. So I wipe the area frequently to remove the dust. I know that using water will prevent the clogging, but I am pretty sure it will be too easy to remove the blue paint this way. And I will not have much control over the process. To remove the marks left from the sandpaper, I used the fine sanding sponge. In the auto body repair shop they don't come in grits, so just coarse, medium and fine. To protect the acrylic navy blue from subsequent weathering with oils and enamels, I'm using lacquer based flat varnish. Next, I'll do some speckling using Starship Base Sludge diluted with white spirit. The paint is quite heavily diluted, so the stains will be very subtle once they dry. I added some Starship Field to the mixture to obtain wash consistency and I will apply the wash in between the planks but only where the white paint is. I tried to do this on a section of the blue but did not like the result. At this point it is safe to dye the wood side walls. Sponge brush is perfect for such job. Back to the weathering. For the fresher and larger oil or fuel stains, I am going to use shaft and bearing grease from AK. I will carefully apply this on a few places using a brush. Before we go any further, I want to say thank you to the people supporting me on Patreon. I hope you enjoy your benefits. Another thing that I want to add is tire marks. After some consideration I decided to use ivory black watercolor pencil. And what will you say about some tuck tractor burnout marks? As we already established the styrofoam is not very pretty. That's why I painted the underside with black paint. Not very thoroughly but enough for the occasion. Also I added some feet for the base to step on and it looks like it's levitating a couple of millimeter over the surface. So here's the finished diorama. And I think it looks good for what it's meant to depict. If you are interested in more tips and techniques, I suggest you go through the rest of my videos. There are many interesting things waiting for you to explore. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy modeling!